All right, great solves. If you've been following since question one, you might be shocked that we are already on question eight. Don't worry, don't worry. The videos on question five, six, and seven are coming shortly. Um, I noticed that this one is a very short question, also 10 marks. So I'm just going to cover this one and then release the other videos. Okay, so over here in this question eight, what you will notice is that, well, it is finding the derivative. So this is now calculus. Okay, so the first question, we want to find the derivative from first principles, which is fairly easy, considering that you've had a lot of time to practice. If you're new to my channel, please care to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I know you might be discovering my channel for the first time and you're already finishing my trick. Okay, so you have to subscribe if you are going to be doing engineering from now onwards, whether you're taking the college route or you're going to university. There might be some similarities uh, between you know what I tutor and what you're going to encounter in university or in college. Okay, so we need to find the derivative using the first principle. So we just say f prime, right? F prime x is equal to lim. H approaches zero, and what we're going to have is f of x plus h, right? Uh, minus f of x. Okay, and then we're going to say divide that by h. Right, next thing that we need to do is just get on with it. Okay, guys, you should know what to do on, when it comes to these questions like this. But before we can do that, what you can just do to know what answer you're working towards is to just differentiate this in the normal way, excuse me. So the answer of this one here, f prime x is going to be equal to minus two. That is going to be the answer already. Now let's go and find the derivative by substitution, right, using the first principle. So we're going to say f, in the sorry uh, we are going to just say minus 2 in the place of x we say x plus h right plus 3 right minus we open a bracket and we're going to say minus 2x um, plus 3 right and we close that and we say all over h and here we say um, is equal to lim h approaches 0 now let's remove the brackets uh, it's a good thing that we're not squaring anything here right so we're going to say minus 2x right uh, minus 2h plus 3 plus 4x right um, minus 3 all over h and then we're just going to say lim h approaches 0 like that there now we need to remove what we can see something we can remove why do i have 4 there why do i have 4 there okay i'm not supposed to have 4 i'm supposed to have a plus 2 right uh, we're supposed to have 2 over there. So let's go. Lim h approaches 0, right? What we will notice straight away is that minus 2 plus 2, that will cancel. Um, 3 minus 3, that will cancel. And we are left with minus 2h only. And then we have h. This one was very easy, guys. Lim h approaches 0. We're going to divide that and, well, minus 2, right? Therefore, uh, f of x f prime x sorry f prime x is equal to minus two right guys we already know that that is the answer so we don't have to double check anything we can just proceed straight away from here okay let's just proceed and next question uh i like these questions yeah they are very straightforward well not straightforward uh what the first objective that you have is to make everything be in exponential form so okay we're not there as yet we need to find the derivative of g of x, right? If we have minus 3x to the power of 4 plus 2x. Now, g uh, prime, k, okay, what is that writing? Um, sorry about that. g prime x is going to be equal to minus 3 times 4. Okay, minus 3 times 4. And then x to the, minus, to the 4 minus 1, right? K okay, plus 2. And then, guys, this whole step is not even necessary. Considering where you are now, you should just know how to do it straight away. Minus 3 times 4 is going to be minus 12. x, 4 minus 1 is going to be 3, right? And then the derivative of 2 is, 2x two is going to be plus 2. Again, that is why it's 2 marks. Very straightforward. Right. Now, the next question is this here. But the first objective that you have is to equate it. Sorry, you need to write it in exponential form first. So D, okay, before we even say that, we're going to say Y is equal to um, 2X to the power of 4 plus 1 all over X squared, 
right to remove this here guys from the numerator we can we can actually uh do this we can say 2x to the power 4 plus 1 and close that and then say x to the minus 2 like this but have you ever done this before you can even do that you can even do that right that's what i'm going to do though there's another method that we could have done the a different method was going to say 2x to the power 4 over x squared right plus 1 over x squared okay let me just do this method y now let's just simplify this before we go and derive y is going to be equal to this 2 goes in there one time and then it goes into that twice so we're going to say 2 x to the 4 minus 2 which is going to be 2 and then plus this guys will be equal to x to the minus 2 now let's find dx dy dx so dy over dx is going to be equal to 4 x right because 2 times 2 is 4 2 minus 1 is going to be 1 and this is going to be minus 2 x to the minus 3 that boys and girls is going to be your answer even if you do it in a different way it's going to be marked correctly here's the different way that i'm talking about so allow me to just erase this uh the answer okay let's write the answer here on the side um excuse me let me just say dy dx is equal to 4x minus 2x to the minus 3 let's leave this like this over here okay now let me just erase this okay allow me um to erase this so that we can do it in a different way okay the different method that you can do is to remove the numerator and make it a denominator and to remove the denominator and make it a numerator like this like that's what we have these are the same so now let's do the foil method and see what happens we are going to say 2 right remember we have 2x to the power of 4 times 2x to the power of minus 2 we add the exponents when you multiply so it's going to be 4 plus minus 2 which is the minus 2 and then this guys is going to be plus x to the minus 2 is i think this one is quicker therefore we have 2x to the 2 plus x minus 2 now to find dy dx so this is y therefore dy over dx is going to be equal to 4x minus 2x to the minus 3 guys that is how you would have get, gotten yourself 10 marks so far you have 10 free marks considering the question uh question 4 which was the actually not question four considering the the question on the exponential graph okay this paper was not very you know i haven't got into the deep ends of it like the functions i just skipped that we are going to do that so don't forget to share like comment and subscribe next video is coming up just now cheers